Welcome friends to my channel Stat in Free where we have started a lecture series on sample survey. This is the 8th part of the series and in this part we shall discuss about quota sampling. Okay. So in the previous part we have discussed about stratified random sampling and um, in case of uh, stratified random sampling we have seen that uh, we just divide the whole population into some subcategory called uh, strata on the basis of some characteristic of the population okay and uh, after dividing the whole population into various subcategories called strata we draw the sample from each of the uh, strata by using the technique of simple random sampling okay and uh, the size of the sample from all of the strata should be is equal to the sample size which we want to collect for our study and their consideration okay so this is the main funda of uh, stratified random sampling okay so just after stratified random sampling in the series why i take uh, coda sampling actually there is a reason behind it why i keep the lecture of uh, coda sampling just after the lecture of stratified random sampling okay so Coda sampling is nothing but the non-probabilistic version of stratified random sampling. If you understand stratified random sampling, then it is very easy to understand what is coda sampling. Okay, so it is a non-probabilistic version of stratified random sampling. We do all the things just like stratified random sampling, except the process of randomness. Okay, so here also. We divide the whole population into different uh, subcategory called strata, and from each of the strata, we collect our sample. Okay, and the size of the sample for our study should be equal to the sum of the sample from different strata which you collect. Okay, so here what we do from different strata, we collect our sample by using the process of purposive sampling or you can say judgment sampling okay that means from each of the strata here i have written p u r that means p u r means purposive sampling okay so from each of the strata we draw the sample by using the technique of purposive sampling okay here we are not using any random technique okay but in case of stratified random sampling what we have done we have used the technique of simple random sampling to draw the sample from each of the strata okay so this is the main difference between stratified random sampling and quota sampling okay so quota sampling basically is a non probabilistic sampling whereas stratified random sampling is a probabilistic sampling okay so this is the main difference between these two technique also there are some situation where we use quota sampling suppose for example we don't have sufficient amount of uh, cost to conduct our study okay so in this case uh, we prefer to use quota sampling in place of stratified random sampling and suppose there is a constraint of time also that means uh, we have a limited amount of time in that case also quota sampling is used because quota sampling can take uh, less time as well as uh, less amount of money to conduct uh, in compared to stratified random sampling okay so th these are the two situations uh, where quota sampling is preferred in place of stratified random sampling however quota sampling is not so widely used in practice due to the condition that here the investigator may choose the sample according to his choice okay whatever he wants to infer about the population according to that uh, uh, criteria he may choose his uh, sample okay so this technique is a biased uh, technique okay and um, as the investigator uh, choose the sample according to his convenience so the uh, technique will not provide us a uh, representative sample uh, whatever we get from the uh, probabilistic 
sampling technique okay so this is one of the drawback of quota sampling and because of that reason quota sampling is not widely used and um, i hope if people now understand what is um, difference between quota sampling and stratified sampling and what is the similarities between these two sampling okay now the question arises how we determine the size of the sample for different strata okay so so in case of quota sampling generally we use the concept of proportion okay so how we use just uh, let's understand this with the help of an example okay now suppose for example a population is there and we divide the population according to the gender basis okay so here i should mention the fact about how we divide the different strata in quota sampling also the same procedure of stratified random sampling is also followed in case of quota sampling that means we divide the strata in such a way that units within the strata are homogeneous but units between the strata are not homogeneous that means units between the strata are heterogeneous okay so generally we take uh, the characteristic like uh, income level uh, education level sex of the population occupation political uh, boundaries uh, or religious uh, affiliation or uh, geographical area all this uh, characteristic we can take into account uh, to divide the population into different strata okay in case of quota sampling also that means we can take all this characteristic to divide the whole population into different strata okay so let's come to the example again so suppose for example a population is there and um, we divide the population according to the sex of the population okay and we know that there is uh, uh, 60% male and 40% female okay and suppose for example we want to collect a sample of size n which is equal to 100 that means we want to collect a uh, sample of size 100 in that case what we will do that means in that case how we will decide about the size of the sample for different strata that means here how many strata will be there there will be only two strata okay because we are dividing the whole population based on the sex of the population okay so since there are two categories male or female so there are only two strata in our study okay and since the sample size is already decided which is equal to 100 and we know that the whole population consists of 60 percent 60 percent male and 40 percent male in that case what we'll do we will collect the data from 60 male okay we will collect the data from 60 male and 40 female okay and sum of these two is equal to 100 okay that means our sample size is 100 and since we know that the population consists of 60% male and 40% female so that we collect the data from 60 male and 40 male just to make a equivalent result for our population okay that means our sample will also consist of 60% male and 40% female just like our population 60% male and 40% female okay now here what we'll do here we will continue sampling until we get those percentage that means 60% uh, male and 40% female and then we will stop okay now suppose if we already get 40 female in our sample but we do not uh, get 60 male then we will continue to sample men not female okay but if uh, on the way of this sampling if another legitimate woman respondents uh, uh, come along in that case we are not going to sample that uh, female because we already met our quota okay that means our quota for female is already completed but our quota for men is not completed still now that's why we are continuing our sampling okay and we are continuing our sampling for male only okay in that case if we get other legitimate female candidates respondent then also we are not going to count them in our study okay then also we are not going to count in our study because our quota for female is already 
completed okay so we are not going to include them okay we just sample for may until the quota for man is not completed and as soon as the quota for male is completed we'll stop our sampling okay that means when you get 60 number of male in the process of sampling in that case we'll just stop our sampling okay so this is the way how we can use uh, the uh, concept of proportion for drawing uh, the sample from the population in case of quota sampling okay so i hope uh, from this lecture quota sampling is now clear to you and uh, if this is so then please uh, like share and uh, subscribe my channel and uh, please make comment also if you people want the mathematical details of this technique uh, in the presentation or in another format okay please let me know about it and uh, Thank you. Thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you. Thank you so much.